Good morning. Ah. Okay, good. He made the right move. This has been a morning of delays. Delays, delays, delays. But they're only really delays because of my perspective. That's another way to look at it is time is trying to pass in a certain pace, at a certain pace. And I'm trying to, it's like hammering oatmeal to a wall, is that the expression? What's up, little dude? So, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to be to work on time. But, sometimes, I'm supposed to be on time for something else, which might be a conversation that's more important than getting to work on time. You know what I'm saying? So struggling really hard to get to work on time might actually be making me late for something more important long term. Does that make sense? Might, uh, but, but I don't know because I can only see so far. night some of you are not sports fans at all least of all basketball but I'm a, I'm a big time I've been a big time Celtics fan my entire life I grew up in I was born in 74 and of course Larry Bird came to the team in like 78 started I think his first playing season was 79 well, I saw his entire career fast forward I saw Paul Pierce's entire career Etc. Etc. So I've seen the best of the best when it comes to Boston Celtics. Last night they had a playoff game, game one, to an inferior team, and uh, they lost. Celtics lost. They blew it. They uh, had a good lead, of course, which you can't trust. They had a good lead going, and uh, sorry, I forgot to spit my gum out. So I'm, I'm wrestling here. Tie it up cherry stems. So, you know, for the second quarter, they start playing down to the inferior team's level. So, Celtics have a level they are capable of playing at right now, which is very high. But as a young team often does, they play down to the inferior team's level. And they lost to the inferior team, thus making the inferior team for the night superior. You know, they uh, gave the ball away a lot. A lot of turnovers. Missed opportunities. Too many dribbles. Sloppy passes. Just gave it away. And, uh, you know, because I dream in metaphor, like, like Seal Saints, why do I dream in metaphor? Well, I, I could not help but equate it to, uh, oh, that's a Sriracha shirt. Absolutely. You're a friend of mine, brother. <laughs> I love it. Talk about playing up to a superior level. Sriracha, the finest condiment ever, ever created. So, I think about my stinking life, and so anything that I might say in this helmet that's good, I know it's good because I don't often do it. You know what I mean? Like, I know what the good stuff is and the right choices are because I so seldom make them. <laughs> I was listening to a quote, a really motivational quote earlier this morning, and I was like, that dude... What a soft life. Guy has no idea what he's talking about. Then I was like, oh yeah, neither do I. Because <laughs> I say stuff like that too. 
grandiose or uh, you know like I'm at some you know morally superior level which uh, oh, I'm not I'm just a just a guy right just a regular dude well I don't know about regular but that's a stop sign there buddy <clears throat> No, I'm not regular. I'm a mental defective. My wife doesn't like when I say it, but come on, ask my friends. So, um, I'm getting better. You know, so when I... Here's an example of how I can play down to an inferior mindset. Anxiety. Oh, anxiety gets me, man. It's one of my... It's one of my character defects. Anxiety. And it's tied hand in hand with anger. I get anxious, or I get con I don't know what to do. I get confused, then I get angry. You know, and so when I don't know what to do, or when I feel powerless, I get really angry. You know, and um, those are two of my major character defects. So there are a lot of times during certain days I play down to those. I know what the right choices are. You know, I know who the right people I can talk to are, uh, you know, to, to help when I'm having a rough mental time or whatever. But uh, it's so easy to play down to an inferior level most of the time. So listen, man, if you ever feel like I'm being judgmental or, you know, like, a, I don't know what the, some, some term, pick some term and throw it at me. You know, just keep in mind that it's, it's because... I've spent so much time in my life doing like the wrong, you know, making the wrong choices. I have a lot of experience in that, in those departments. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. There's not just sports teams that play down to certain levels and, and, uh, you know, it's not just, I don't know, you know, like rushing to get to work at a very specific time. You know, at the sacrifice of what might be a very important conversation, do you see where I'm going? Something is maybe eternally a little more important than just punching in the time clock. So, anyway guys, out of breath, anxiety, talking too much. <sighs> Taking a cleansing breath. Thank you, Brother Rich Brown. Uh, for those <laughs> reminders. Guys, I, I care about you. Uh, thanks for riding along. And I hope I have a great day at work. And I'm hoping you have a great day at work. And those of you guys who are retired, I know, I'm looking at you. I hope you have a great day too. Um, you know, paradise. That's what it is if you, if you make it so. All right, guys. Care about you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>